What's up y'all, this is a with the a Show. So for today, we've got a special one for you today. I'm going to be talking about my one year later review on the Acorns app. So what Acorns is, for those of you who don't know, it's an investment platform that you can use to automate your investments. You've probably seen some commercials with The Rock or Kevin Durant and they talk about Acorns. So you might be a little bit interested to see how that works. In this video, I'm going to be breaking down what's worked for me, what hasn't worked, the pros and cons, and what I like about Acorns in general. So let's get right into it. So first off, this is the user interface, the home screen for the desktop. The app is going to look a little bit different, but both are really clean, simple. And one thing I really like is how the aesthetic is so clean and pleasing. So you can just see like these nice colors, the green. One thing about Acorns, they're always talking about growth. So I guess that's a cliche, um, just about growth. You can kind of see the roots, I guess. I guess that's what they're going for. So anyways, um, you've got four options right here that you can do. Um, Acorns isn't free, unfortunately, but um, it starts as low as $1 a month. You can get the invest for that. I'm going to be breaking down each one. You can see that I have three of the four. So how it works is $1 for the invest, $2 for the spend, and you get the invest with it. Then there's a later for $3, and you get all three of these. And then you've got early for $5, and then you get all of this. So I'm going to be breaking down the invest first. All right, so this is my Acorns Invest. You can see my invest account value is at $1,279.47. So this is how much value I have in my account. Um, so you can see right off the bat, these are my settings. I've got an aggressive portfolio type. I do my roundups and I invest $20 every Monday, so weekly. Um, these are just some settings that you can play with. You can have your roundups on or off. You can do one-time investment, so you don't have to do the recurring like I do. And then you can withdraw at any time. So that's one thing I really like about Acorns. It's super flexible. You can manage your own strategy or you can just let it do uh, Acorns work for you and do weekly and then that works for you. This is just recent activity. So you can see I pay $3 a month. Um, so it's going to pop up some of my recurring investments. And then here is performance. So you can see I'm up 11.46%. Um, just a quick Google search and you can see the S&P 500 is up about... 9.8% over a 90 year time span. So you can see I'm outperforming that by 2%, which is amazing. You can see that Acorns is working for you and it's working effectively. So with the subscription, um, it factors in for total gain and loss. So you can see I'm up 10.81%. So that's one of the cons I'm gonna be talking about a little bit later. Um, but you can see how it just drops off about half a percent, which may not seem significant, but it's about what, like six, $7? And then if you have that at a higher scale, you're going to be losing a lot more. You technically you're not losing money because it's all made money. But at the same time, you can have a higher profit margin with a different account. So that's one thing that I really, I, I find a problem with Acorns. But you know, at the end of the day, this is for new and beginning investors. So this is perfect. Um, you know, I really have to do anything. You just let Acorns work for you. And then you can see in the last 30 days, I've invested $108.81. Five dollars, thirty-five roundups, no one times, a hundred and recurring, and three dollars and forty-six in dividends. All right, so now I want to talk a little bit about the portfolios and how and why I chose aggressive. All right, so these are the different portfolio types. So you can see there's conservative, moderately conservative, moderate, moderately aggressive, and then what I have aggressive. So in all fairness, the reason why I chose aggressive is it's actually not all that aggressive, and I can see why they did that. Um, the reason they did that is because if they made it too aggressive, then if they were, if a investor was down quite a lot, they'd have to take responsibility and they'd lose faith in their investments and their investors. So that's probably why they did that. In all fairness, I think it's closer to moderately aggressive in my opinion. But yeah, so in my opinion, aggressive has been working for me. I'm up 11%. So I'm not, nothing to complain about. I'm not complaining. <laughs> Pretty happy with 11%. Um, you can see these are just the indexes that they invest in. I'm not going to break it down too much just because this is a, in, like a beginner investor video. So I don't want to go too crazy. But um, if we just click on VOO, you can see this is one of the indexes they invest in. It's $316 currently. Um, it's a little bit about it. So you can see the weekly range, the volume, the year to date return. So 7.3%. And then these are just some of the holdings they have. So they got Microsoft, Apple, Amazon, some of the greatest ones in here. And then they're all weighted differently. So we've got more towards that, the safer, higher, bigger scale companies. And then we've got smaller index funds like, um, let's see, small company stocks. So let's just look at that, IJR. I don't really know too much about this. Acorns recently rebalanced. They used to have 
some other index funds like VNQ, but um, now they've got stuff like IGR, which I really don't know too much about. Like I said, I'm not going to break it down too much because this is a beginning, uh, beginning investor video. So let's look at some of their holdings. Let's see if I know any of these. So we got Wingstop, and it's probably the only one I know. <laughs> let's see, they're up. They're actually down 11.8% within the year. That's um, not the best. Let's, let's take a look at that. All right, whatever. It works for me. I'm up 11%, not complaining. All right, so when you sign up, one of the first things they do is they ask you like a bunch of questions and then they recommend which portfolio would work for you. As you can see, moderate is the best for me. Uh, according to them, I go with aggressive just because I know my time horizon. I have a strategy, so I'm pretty happy with the aggressive. It's been working out, like I said, so I'm going to go with that. <laughs> so let's get into the good stuff. So you can see I've invested $1,127.79. I've taken out $0. I've got $10.17 in found money. So I'm going to explain that a little bit more. So all it is is... Acorns gets partnerships with certain companies, so every time you invest in them or every time you buy a product from them, they give you a certain percentage or a deal. For example, um, I, when I bought Disney Plus, I bought it through Acorns, and they gave me ten dollars just for that. And then there's referrals, so it's five dollars per person every time you refer somebody. So if you use my link in the description below, you're gonna get five dollars, and I'm also gonna get five dollars. So it's kind of like a win-win situation. And at the same time, if you want to look at it as you know, it costs $12 a year for the $1 option. So if you want to look at it that way, it's like sign up, you get five free months. That's kind of what it is. And then we've got dividends. So I've got $9.47 in dividends. And actually, I wanted to show you guys how the snowball effect would work with dividends. And I'm going to show you that a little bit later. So let's first look into when I started and how it's worked out. All right. So I started October 14, 2019. So I started with a lump sum of 20 bucks. That's nothing crazy. I started doing five dollars you know weekly and you can see it just building up and then we've got the roundup so every time i buy something what it does is it takes how much ever it is the closest dollar and then eventually when that amount equals five dollars it takes that five dollars and invests it for you so i'm just going to quickly go through you can see my dividends one cent two cent nothing crazy and then there's a rebalance i'm just going to go quickly through this you can see five dollars five dollars Eventually, I moved up to $25, and then I went back down to $20. Um, I'm just going to try to get to the found money so you can see. So, you know, I bought something from Dunks. I got $0.08. Cents. I um, got a referral from one of my friends, so I got $5 there. There's that Disney Plus I was talking about. There's real-time roundup, blah, blah, blah. Nothing crazy, but you can just see, you know, I'm just putting in $25 weekly. And through that, I've got, let's see. $132 in profit. So, you know, it all starts somewhere and you want it to compound and you want it to grow. And the whole point with Acorns is, like I said in the beginning of the video, it's set it and forget it. You just want to let it grow. You don't want to look at it every day. I kind of like doing it because it's fun for me. But if you want to just put your 20 bucks or 25 bucks, however much you want to put, let's say you're a college student like me, you don't got money like that to spend five dollars a week you'll be fine you know let it grow check back five ten years you know be crazy you don't even have to wait that long you wait a year like i have 132 bucks take that out keep it or you can keep letting it grow and see where it goes from there let's say you get a strategy that you want to work with let's say you figure out how to invest and then you want to take it out from here and then put into an actual um a different brokerage account that you know and you have a plan with different platform called m1 finance and in my m1 finance account i have a different strategy that i go by that strategy is called dividend growth investing and i'd like to share that with you in a future video just leave a comment let me know if you'd like to see that and that's it for my acorns invest i just want to show you guys something real quick with the dividends so you can see in january i've got 84 cents so this is just a spreadsheet i made i got from a different youtuber but it is what it is you know what i'm saying all right, so this 84 cents was actually October, November, December. I was just too lazy to make a whole new column just for 2019. So I figured I'd just throw it into January. All right, so then you can see March, I grew that dividend by a little bit more. And then I grew it, and then I grew. And then because of the pandemic, there was a little bit of an outlier. So you can see a drop off, but then it's continuing to grow as soon as the market's recovered. So you can see it's going up over time, and it's just going to continuously grow, go up and up and up. And that's, it's like a snowball effect. You know, you push a snowball down a mountain and it just grows bigger and bigger, kind of like an avalanche. So think of it as your money is working for you and 
the more money you put in, the more your dividends will grow. And then when you reinvest those dividends, it'll grow and grow. So it might not look like much. Remember when you saw the one cent, two cent dividends, you're like, yo, what's the point of waiting a whole quarter just to get two or three cents? But that two or three cents one day will be worth, you know, so much more, it'll be worth $5. Then one day you'd be making $5 in dividends and that $5 would be worth $10. And it just keeps going up and up and like that. And that's just how it works. All right, so that's all I've got for the Acorns Invest. I want to show you guys the other options. So this is the Acorns Spend Smarter feature. So this is going to be $2 a month, and then you're also going to get that $1 invest. So what Spend is, is basically like a online baking for you. So you can see I've got $216.46. So it's basically like another bank account, just online. You can see you can transfer money in, you can send checks, you can locate an ATM, you can set a recurring deposit. Um, I don't have one on just because I don't really use it. I send maybe like a certain amount of my paycheck here. And then from here, I just transfer it over to my M1 finance account. Um, let's see. I also automate a little bit to my later, which is, um, I'm going to explain that a little bit later. Uh, see what I did there. But um, yeah, so later is just a retirement account. I'm going to get into that. But um, I don't really use this feature too much. You can see with the earn. So what you can do is earn is it's kind of like a cash back system where if you invest into something. So remember that Disney Plus thing I was talking about? So if you have to pay through Acorns and that's one thing that's kind of annoying. So if I wanted to go um, if I want to get let's see, let's see something cool. Let's see. StockX. So. If you guys don't know, I'm a big sneakerhead. I'm planning to do a video on that later on. Just let me know, leave a comment. So let's say I want to get a pair of shoes on StockX, right? So I can go through StockX and buy with my normal debit card or credit card and then get my $5 invested. I'd have to either use my Acorns card that comes with the spend. So they give you a debit card for that. And then I'll get my $5 or I'd have to go through here. So I'd click on StockX and then I'll do shop now. And then it, this is just some of the details that you have to do. You have to make sure you do it right. And then you buy the shoe or you buy whatever, and then you get the $5. So that's how that works. Overall, spend is pretty good. I don't, I don't really use it too much to be honest. Um, other than that, it's, it's a pretty, it's a pretty decent feature. The online banking, you can make it work for you. I, I have my own bank, so I don't really mess with spend that much. But other than that, it's pretty good. Lastly, we've got my acorns later. So you can see my later account value is $110.10. So what Acorns Later is, is, is essentially a retirement account for you. So if you guys know what a Roth IRA is, this is basically what your Roth IRA would look like on Acorns. So for those of you that don't know, or you beginner investors out there, a Roth IRA is basically a retirement account. So all the money you put in gets pre-taxed. And then when you take it out, you don't have to pay any taxes whatsoever. So it's essentially a way for you to save money and to retire. So there are a few catches. Like I said, I'm not going to break it down too much, but... You have to be 59 and a half to take it out. You can only do $6,000 a year. So right now, um, I'm 22 years old. I don't have money like that to put um, six, six grand in a year, you know what I'm saying? So I do $5 a week. So I used to do 25 into my invest, but I changed that to 20 and then now I do $5 a week here. I figured I would start now rather than later just because I know I won't be maxing out that 6,000 yet. Um, I also don't really have that much of a plan because I plan to retire early. So. It's not like I need to max it out right now because, you know, like if you're already retired early, I'm hoping for my late 40s, early 50s. I'll break that down in another future video. I've got a lot for you guys. But um, like I said, if I'm planning to retire early, what's what's it going to do for me if I have all the money in here rather than having it later? And don't get me wrong. It's great to have this. It's basically like a safety fund. You know, um, I'll show you guys a graphic later on um in my future video but you know if you start at 18 and you put six grand every single year you get to own close to two million dollars a year and you can pull that all out tax-free so it's amazing but like i said i don't really have a plan or strategy with my roth ira once i create one i'll let you guys know i'll create a video for that um but yeah this is all i have for now for my acorns later um you can see you do five dollars weekly i transfer i want to say like um, so I send a small percentage of my paycheck to my spend. So my online baking from before, and then I do like 5% from there to here. So at least it's starting to build up a little bit. You can see I'm up like $4, 3.7%. Um, nothing crazy. You can see my values, 115 bucks. This is the money transferring in 25 cents in dividends. And it's pretty much all I've got. You can add a beneficiary. 
back and not say that word beneficiary. So like if you pass away or something happens to you, they can get all that money. So they're going to get all of my 110 bucks. Nothing crazy. But um, like I said, it's it's definitely worth it. But you can recreate this account and you can actually do it for free in th instead of spending three dollars a month um, with a different platform. Like you can do it with Robinhood. You can do it with M1 Finance. Um, you can pretty much do it with any account. So I guess it's OK unless you want to automate your purchases. All right. So that's all I've got for my later. And I'm going to be talking about some other features and pros and cons right after this. So just a quick little edit, um, just in case you guys thought I was capping about that 2 million by age 65. So $6,000 a year, um, you start at 25. By the time you're 65, you have 1.4 mil and that's all yours. No tax, you take it out, you keep it yourself. I'll talk about that in a future video, but if you guys want to just pause the screen, take a closer look um, and just read anything or you know, admire how cool that is. Yeah, go for it. All right, I'll get right back to the video. All right, so now I'm going to be talking about some of the other features I didn't talk about earlier. All right, so we've got the early. So what that is, is you can set up a custodial account for your kids. So kids aren't allowed to invest until they're 18 years old. So with a custodial account, you can actually start them off earlier. And with Acorns, that you can do that for $5 a month. It's a pretty cool idea. Um, I don't really have any kids, so there's no point of me doing that. But if you're uh, if you're an older person or if you have kids and you want them to start investing at an early age, so going back to that Roth IRA example, um, if you do 6 a year, they're going to be at uh, 2 million by the time they're 55 something crazy like that. I can show you guys a graphic in a later video, but um Like I said, you can start them off early have them retire early have them have a happy life You know what I'm saying? All right, so that's just that early feature All right now, let me show you this view potential feature. This is probably one of my favorite and coolest features that they have on acorns All right, so it shows you a hypothetical uh, projection of your invest so right now I'm investing $20 every Monday. So if I keep that up I'm 22 right year, uh, 22 years old right now. So what's that like, 16 years? I don't know. I'm bad at math. All right, 16 years from now, I'll have 40k, which is great. So I'm at thousand. I'll be at 40k if I keep doing 20 dollars a year. This is with my roundups on. So you can see I'm investing 24k, and then I'll get 16,000 returns, which is amazing. You can play around with it. So let's see if I want to be a little bit older. So let's see how I'm going to do at 53, 131k. So let's say my income increases and I'm able to invest a lot more. Let's say, I don't want to go too crazy. Let's say 150. Let's see how that works. Boom, right there. By the time I'm 53, I'm going to have 721,000, which is insane. And on top of that, I'm only investing a fraction of what I'm making, what my returns are. So I'm going to be investing 254,000 and I'm going to be getting back $466,000 which is just amazing. You can play a, you can play with it. Let's say, um, all right, there's no way I'm going to do 150 a day, but let's say monthly, you know, it's lower, but let's say, so 150 times four. So let's just say I do 500. Boom. It's crazy. You know what I'm saying? You can just play around with it. And this is probably one of the coolest things. If you want to make a plan, you can base it off this. All right. So that's all I have for you guys for my personal acorns. Um, I just want to quickly run through the pros and cons. Um, some of the pros are it's super easy to use. Like I said, you could just set that recurring fee or that one time fee and then you're done. After that, it takes a subscription right from you. Um, you don't have to do anything else. You, it goes right along with that set and forget it type of strategy or approach. You don't have to do anything. It's all automated. That's one of the best pros. I don't think there's a single platform that's automated like acorns is. Um, we've got that roundup feature, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, overall, it's all easy, super easy. The user interface is nice. Um, other than that, they've got something called Grow Your Knowledge, which is just a way for you to learn. Um, if you're a beginning investor, perfect for you. They have so many articles that you can learn from. They also send, I want to say it's like weekly emails just telling you what happened in the market. Um, for right now, for example, it's election season. So um, they'll be talking about Nancy Pelosi or... They'll be talking about um, Trump and things like that. And you can see how, why and how the markets reacted. And, and it's just it's just an overall cool um, experience with the emails. Um, it's not super spammy. Um, there's also a lot of growth. So I've noticed that I want to say maybe when I first started investing, there was no such thing as spend. There was no such thing as later. Um, it all came over time, you know. Um, they're consistently adding more and more to their platform, even for earn um they didn't have all these brands before it was maybe like it was like dunks and like a couple other things but they keep adding new and new partnerships so it makes it a little bit better um 
it just makes it more interactive and you know I noticed that um, they sent out an email a couple of days ago talking about a job finding career. So they just keep adding new things for um, investors that are using their platform. Um, like I said, it's perfect for beginning investors. Um, so if you find yourself not knowing anything, this is perfect for you. All right, so let's get into the cons. There isn't really too many cons that I can say, but my number one overall con would be the subscription fee. So obviously $1 is not gonna kill you, but as you can see, it kind of cut into my profit. So if you remember on my invest, I was losing about half a percentage just of my subscriptions. There is a way around it. Um, if you wanna do the referrals that you have, so Acorn does a lot of promos. So right now it's like, if you uh, refer one person, you get 35 bucks. Or I remember a couple of months ago, they had something crazy like refer, I think it was like eight people get 500 bucks. So something crazy like that. And you just make 500 bucks just like that. But um, other than that, it'll hurt your margins. So like to me, it was like $7, right? But let's say I have a bigger scale. Let's say, um, let's just say I'm rich, you know, and I put 70,000 or I put 100,000 instead of 1,000, right? It's not going to be $7. It's going to be $7,000. And I don't know if my math's right on that, but it's either 7,000 or 70,000. Not good at math. Um, but like I said, it's going to hurt your margins. And if you know what you're doing, there's really no point of Acorns. Acorns is for beginning investors. So um, just for example, right? We're talking about that Roth IRA. If you know what you're doing, why would you spend $3 a month? You know what I'm saying? Like you can just go on M1 Finance or Robinhood or any of these other platforms and make a retirement account there for free instead of spending $3 a month. So that's just one of the, the biggest cons that they have. It's not nothing crazy. Other than that, I love Acorns. You know, they give you a lot of room to grow. I'm going to keep it up and I'm going to plan, I'm going to plan to, you know, just keep investing in here. And if you guys want to see uh, future update i'm gonna keep everything here so maybe i'll do a six month update or maybe i'll do uh, a more in-depth video on acorns um, i'll break down some of the indexes or something like that um anyways that's been it for my video i appreciate you guys listening watching and i doubt any of you guys made it this far but if you have leave a like comment subscribe i'm hoping for like two likes because it's my first video and honestly this has been fun all right, that's all I got for you guys today. Um, thank you so much. Oh, and by the way, I'm also doing a podcast with a couple of my friends, so I will leave a link in the description when that's out. So take a look. It's going to be a basketball podcast. It's going to be fun. All right, thank you guys so much.